everyone, it's Daniel and I'm super pumped to have you here watching. This training was all about how to generate organic leads via Facebook, no matter what industry or niche you're in, all while not needing or being required to have any marketing experience or whatsoever. We're going to actually break down everything for you. I have a guy named Wilhelm with me that I'll soon introduce you to. And he made his awesome presentations in which he also gives you practical tips and steps that you can take by the end of this interview and actually begin implementing them on your profile, on your personal account and start generating sales and leads all for free via Facebook. So this was awesome. I can't wait you to start. Uh, but before I do that, before I pass it on to the interview, I want you to know that you can actually watch those lives trainings with me inside my Facebook group. And I'll put a link down below so you won't need to just check out the recordings. You'll be able to interact with us, ask questions, something that will completely help you scale your business. So if you're interested, there is a link down below. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can check more awesome content. So guys, I hope you are ready. This was an amazing interview. So let's start. If you can shortly introduce yourself before we actually uh, go to this presentation, tell us who you are, why should people care, and what are you going to teach them? I think this is like the $1 million question. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me me daniel the pleasure is truly truly mine i think we're gonna have an awesome fun time here tonight so i'm so stoked so yeah first off just let let us know where you're watching from i'm i'm from sweden myself and i've been doing uh, affiliate marketing for the past about over the past year or so uh and uh, i i first dropped out of college actually in 2018 and tried to become an entrepreneur and i took all of these gurus from i took these courses from all of these gurus from I'm sure you guys have taken them too. Uh, and I never really succeeded. I tried everything. I really, I, I went through all of the courses. I implemented everything. I did the paid ads. I did all of that. Everything that they said would work with agency, running an agency, doing drop shipping, uh, design jobs, freelancing. I, I tried all of it. You name the business model, I probably tried it. And yet I was still not succeeding. Um, and I realized that the, these gurus that saying that use paid ads, use paid ads, spend money on paid ads, and then you get X amount of money back. It's not really a fair playing field. You know, they got thousands or even millions to use in paid ads. And they're telling us, the little guys, to use paid ads. And that's not a fair playing field. So I really want to even the playing field here today and help you guys understand how you can use the platform of Facebook, the biggest social media network on earth, how to use that for your advantage and how you can use that to grow organically without paid ads. Because I know I wasted a lot of money on paid ads and I'm done with it. I'm done losing money on it. And I want to show you guys exactly how you can grow your businesses, get more clients, get more commission, get more sales with Facebook organically. So that's what I'm here to teach channel. And I'm hope I'm going to help some people and answer all of your questions. Yeah, uh, that's amazing intro, man. And I just want to uh, address some burning question, guys, before we start. And again, we switch to this uh, awesome presentation that we have for you. Uh, using organic traffic can work for basically, I think, any kind of business. It doesn't matter if you're already doing ads. It's not like ads are a bad thing, but ads can be extremely like uh, expensive. And for most beginners, most people who don't really understand marketing, who don't really understand how to run paid ads, it can be a very difficult thing to do because the competition is fierce. Uh, and, you know, uh, cost per leads and cost per uh, 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 results really get higher and higher every single year. Like the cost of ads, of running ads, keep going up. So it doesn't matter, again, if you're doing ads, if you're not doing ads, if you're starting your business, if you're already advancing your business, you can always, you know, do one more thing, which is involving organic traffic, which is, again, what this live is about. <clears throat> so again, it doesn't need to be instead of that. It can be in addition to that, and it can be extremely powerful. And I can vouch for myself, and I know that Wilhelm, um, wouldn't say that, but he's been crushing. I mean, I've been following your work, man. I've seen your posts. They get a lot of engagement. They got a lot of leads. His group is growing spectacularly. Uh, I think he's doing an awesome job, and this is why I invited him, so he can share all of those strategies and tips with you. So again, this is just my short introduction and uh, 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 perspective on this. Uh, I'd love it if we can start. I think it's time. 
And I see a lot of people commenting, by the way, coming from your group. So this is amazing. You're quite oh, famous. Yeah. And uh, guys, I just also want to remind you, submit your questions now, and we will try our best to address them uh, towards the end of the live. So that Absolutely. is me unmuting myself again and letting you speak. Awesome. Let's do it. So quick shout out to, uh, to let's see here, uh, to Newsrat watching from Bangladesh. It's 11 p.m. your time, bro. I am so thankful that you're tuning in. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be worth your while. And for everybody staying till the end, just know I'm not going to pitch you anything. I'm not here to make money or anything. I'm not going to, we're not obviously not charging you or I'm not going to pitch you anything at all. I just want to provide pure value. And what I, what I'm going to teach you can be really really powerful for you but it does not matter if you don't take action on it you can listen to every single word i say but if you don't implement any of it if you don't take action on it it's not gonna it's not gonna matter for your business so at the end of the day it's up to you so uh i'm really ready to dig into this do you want to get to the presentation daniel yeah for sure i'm here commenting with by the way people if you see me like uh, scrolling down with my head. It's not because I'm like bored or anything. I'm just trying to get all, to all of your comments because there's plenty. And yes, man, take the lead, uh, blow their minds. Awesome. You can go ahead and share my screen and I'll put the presentation on uh, full screen here. So let me know if you guys can see my screen. Sometimes stream art is a bit glitchy when I put my presentation to full screen. So just let me know quickly if you can see my screen all right uh, or if it's all black. Nope, seems to be working fine. Awesome. So let's do it. Generating leads on Facebook for free because it is so, so powerful. And I say that with a little bit of hint to screw with paid ads and screw the gurus saying that you should use paid ads. And it's a great tool and it's amazing for businesses. But if you're just starting out and you're trying to become or really grow your business as an entrepreneur in the beginning, then paid ads might ruin you. And I see so many people giving up before they before they even given a fair shot at it because they they used all their money and paid ads which they thought would work they listened to the gurus you can't blame them i've been there myself uh, so i want to teach you how you can do this organically so first off I'll quickly who am i so uh, i'm swedish like i already mentioned this is the swedish king right here we're known for volvo and everything so that's not actually what he looks like but hey it, it's our king okay we like to imagine that's that's what he looks like so I dropped out of college in the US in 2018. So I decided to study abroad, go through the whole nine to five job thing. Uh, play, I also played soccer, as you can see, in, uh, in the US when I studied there at college. But I realized uh, about a semester into my college semester that um, in college career that, that this really wasn't for me. I couldn't see the, I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't like the future I was seeing for myself. Um, going through four years of college in the US and paying, I paid $17,000 each semester. That's $30,000 each year plus uh, to attend college just to get a degree, which says you're good at whatever, you know? Um, and I always thought that was so fake and I couldn't see myself going through that nine to five lifestyle, getting that job, entry level job, getting promoted, getting a house, getting a family, you know, I, I didn't like that. I wanted more freedom and I knew there's more to life than that. So. Uh, I decided to drop out of college in 2018, and I tried to become an entrepreneur. I studied every guru course out on the internet that you can possibly imagine, um, and I did everything that they say, said. I tried all of these different business models, aid, running an agency, doing drop shipping, e-commerce, design jobs, freelancing, but I, yet I still fail massively. And I thought there was something wrong with me. I thought I was doing something wrong because obviously people were making money off of the internet and all of these gurus are saying, do this and you'll make money and you'll succeed. But I was still failing. Um, but it was not until early 2019, I found out that I could do it without paid ads, which is what every single guru said, use paid ads. And they've got thousands of millions or millions in their, in their budget. And it's, they're saying paid ads, but Hey, I'm a 22 year old dropout from college. I don't have that money. And I'm sure you, a lot of you guys don't either. So I found out that I could do it without paid ads. So I stopped wasting money on paid ads. And I finally became profitable when I realized how I could do it organically using Facebook. What, what exactly I'm going to teach you here today. So once I found that out, it, 
made me it might it might have made it possible for me to uh, go back to the U.S. actually and event, attend events like this, Fun Lacking Live. Uh, it's Monday Baby Content Machine Live, where I'm I'm instead of taking these courses, I'm actually meeting these gurus and I'm asking them questions and I'm talking to them and I'm uh, engaging with them and I'm actually learning from them in person instead of taking their gurus and actually instead I'm ta I'm I'm really meeting the real gurus here so here's what I mean with tom billy from impact theory i'm not saying this to to brag or anything I, I not at all i just want you to realize that this is what possible with organic i've not spent a dime on paid ads since i found out i could do organically and i've managed to yeah meet and learn from tom billy from impact theory peng yoon gabe schillinger uh russell brunson steve larson all these people at funnel hacking live it's monday baby uh, and it's it's been an amazing past year, the most blessing and blissful year of my life. So uh, I decided to go all in organic, and now I'm a hardcore entrepreneur by birth, and I'm a funnel hacker by choice. Uh, that means that I basically build uh, websites using a tool called ClickFunnels. We call ourselves the funnel hackers. Um, but that's what's possible, and I'm a total geek right now. I've got, I've got all, I've got the shirt on me right now. I've got the water bottle, or water bottle. I got the pop socket. I got all kind of swag you can imagine. I'm a total geek, and finally, I'm a, I'm able to do that and thrive using organic instead of paid ads. So, let's jump into it. If you're ready, I am. Let me take a sip of water and check your guys' comments here. Uh, because I want to get into this and I want to help you guys out and show you exactly how you can do it starting today. This is not something that's going to take you ages. This is something you can start using today. No matter if you've got a big or small list, you don't have to have any of that. I'm going to show you how you can build up your list using Facebook and start monetizing Facebook instead. Man, I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited than most people in here. Uh, <laughs> it's just great. And the, the comments are just keep going up. It's amazing. Awesome. Let's do this. I am so, so excited. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So Facebook is really your lead database. It contains millions of even, is it like 1 billion people on Facebook? I'm not sure. There's a ton of people, basically everyone, you know, they're, they're on Facebook, right? So it's your lead database. And I'm going to show you how we use business for uh, Facebook for business, because most people just use their business page, but what they don't realize is that is paid to win. To get good reach with your business page, you have to use paid ads. Um, yeah, it's or, it's horrible for organic reach. So uh, organic reach is kind of it's free. You're spending your time instead of your money, and we can automate that. So see, uh, uh, organic kind of uh, as free. You're not spending any money, but you can automate it. Um, and I want to show you how you can start working with the algorithms of Facebook and be their friend. Be the friend of Mark Zuckerberg instead of being their employee who keeps paying the money for paid ads or their enemy who try to exploit the algorithms. Boom. So the secrets for Facebook success, in my opinion, and what we're going to co cover here today is really number one, your Facebook profile. Number two, Facebook groups, how we utilize them and uh, how we can basically skip most of the hard work and just go just go use what Facebook and what other people has already done. They've already congregated your dream customer inside of a Facebook group. So let's use that. And then third of all, let's monetize Facebook uh, with your funnel and uh, really leading people into your world and getting them to buy your product or service. So first off, your Facebook profile. Now I've got a lot of slides, so I don't want to keep you guys <laughs> for for two hours. We're not gonna keep keep that as short as possible. So I'm gonna go through these slides. So your Facebook profile. I know it can be really fun. And look at this guy. He's living in the future here. He's being really creative with his Facebook profile. But we're gonna start using it for business, okay? Uh, I know you can have a lot of fun, and I know that people like to to show off their pets on Facebook and have have fun uh, which is great but it doesn't uh, support our business so that time is over now from starting from today it's start it's time to use your facebook profile as a business asset all right so your facebook profile it's really your free billboard on the biggest social media network on the planet. Most people pay for this. They paid ads to be shown in people's news feeds. I'm going to show you how you can just utilize your Facebook profile to get thousands of people to get to your Facebook 
uh, Facebook profile, if done correctly, and and use it as a billboard on the biggest social media network on the planet. Uh, yeah, people pay thousands to get their things shown on Facebook. Nothing is as genuine as your Facebook profile. People hate seeing ads, right? Uh, instead, they love seeing friends and 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 people that they want to work with. So let's use that. And you can have as many as 5,000 friends of Facebook on Facebook, and that's basically a super engaged email list. You want to build that up to 5,000 people as fast as you can with your dream customer. You don't want to be adding uh, some stranger who does not support your business. You want to be adding your dream customer from now on, okay? That's going to be your friend because that's basically a super engaged email list. So the core elements of your Facebook profile is your cover photo, it's your profile picture, it's your bio and featured photo, and your feed uh, slash wall. So let's break them all down separately, and I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like, what how you can set your your own up, uh, and for success. Boom! Here we go. So the cover photo is really the billboard of your profile. It is what the thing people see behind your profile picture. It is the biggest thing on your profile. Uh, it's the billboard of your profile and it's the first thing that people see. Even before their name, they see the big picture of your cover photo. So what impression do you wanna make? You want to have a clear message for what you can offer them, what you do, what you, what pro products and services that you provide and how you can help them. You want that to be shown in your cover photo. So this is what mine looks like right now. I just changed it today, actually. Uh, so I'm just now coming out with a free course teaching people how to do uh, affiliate marketing. Uh, so my big cover photo here, which you can see, it is literally taking up half the, the space, half the real estate on my Facebook profile. Half, uh, half the space is just my cover photo. So you want to make sure that you've got this set up. So I have a clear call to action here. Uh, the place to be for affiliates. Learn affiliate marketing without paid ads. Get free access to the CF Affiliate course when you join the club. People click the button here. They got the link in the description and they join my Facebook group and they get access to my free course. That's what I want people to do when they get to my Facebook profile. And trust me, this works incredibly well. Once you set this up, you will start and, and you start using all the other bits I'm telling you, you will see people uh, going into your world faster than ever before. So uh, that's the cover photo. It's super important. Then you got your, uh, you got your bio here. We're going to go into that. And then you got your featured photo into that. And we're going to uh, below that. And we're going to jump into that. So your profile photo is the second step. Uh, this is very important. What, once again, what impression do you want to make? Once people start seeing your face all over the place in different Facebook groups on, on their newsfeed and stuff, you want to make sure that they're thinking of you as someone who they know, like, and trust, right? So if I had a picture when I was partying, probably a lot of people wouldn't be doing business with me. So instead, I have a little bit more of a professional photo. So what do you want to be see as casual, funny, professional, friendly? Choose a profile picture accordingly. And please, for the love of God, I see this all the time. Don't have your pet as your profile picture. I know your pet is super cute. I know you love your pet, but if I'm going to do business with you, I don't care what your pet looks like. Let's be honest. I'm not going to do business with someone who has their pet as their profile picture. That's an immediate turn off. And then the third step here, your bio and your featured photo. Uh, and what is that? Your bio right here is the introduction here. It is this small space right here. Um, and you get about 110 characters, I believe. So 110 letters you can use. And this, once again, you want to be leading people to the same place where you're leading them um, with your cover photo and your featured photo. You want to make sure that once they hit your profile picture, it is dead clear to them the action and the step that they should be taking. It's to join the group, okay? I help affiliate marketers get started without pad, paid ads. I'm showing them what I can offer them and how I can help them. And then the featured photo is this photo right here. You want to have one featured photo. And also, this real estate here, this is where you usually see um, born in Sweden, lived in Ohio, uh, went to uh, Wilmington College, 
skip all of that, okay? People don't care where you went to high school. People who want to do business with you, they don't care where you were born or where you where you grew up. Uh, skip that. You want to be you want it to be clear. You don't want to confuse them, okay? It's a clear a link to my group. That's what I want people to do. I'm linking them to my group on the cover photo, in the in the bio, and with the link right here and the featured uh, photo. So your bio and featured photo, it is super important and most people miss this or they mess it up. Either they don't do this at all or they mess it up. They, once again, they show where they went to high school. I don't care, I'm not gonna do business with your high school, okay? So that's really, really important and most people miss this step. They don't even do it. So uh, you, want to you want them to take one step, one step and one step only. You don't want to have 20 links in there. I see that all the time. You don't want to confuse them because a confused mind always says no. And your clients, once again, don't, don't, they don't care where you went to high school, okay? So let's just skip that part. Uh, and your featured photo should be congruent with your cover photo. No, you can see mine is not really congruent, right? It doesn't look um, as similar. That's because I changed this today, actually, and I haven't set this up. So but shame on me, but I'm going to show you an example of my mentor, Doug, who has a very congruent uh, featured photo. So this is his cover photo right here, sending people to join his challenge. And he's doing the exact same thing right here with his, um, with his featured photo. He's sending people to, to, the, um, to join the challenge. Boom. So you want it to be congruent. You want to have the same design kind of. You see, it's very, very similar to his cover photo. And your wall, your wall or your post or your feed, um, this part right here, uh, what people see. Uh, you want your feed or your wall. It's basically your highlight reel, right? It's what people see and judge you off. So you want to make sure that you don't show your potential leads when you ate twenty pancakes, or even when you're you went to to Mexico with your family or when you're visiting your grandma, all that stuff is great. And there is a place for that. Maybe you want to be family friendly with your, with your business partners and your clients. That, that can be it. But most of the time, don't share your potential leads where you ate 20 pancakes. Okay. Maybe that was just me. I used to have that photo. I don't anymore. So <laughs> make sure that it shows your highlight reel and that you are perceived as an expert. Okay. Get them interested in you and what and what you can offer and be seen as an expert. You want to you, you want to get people intrigued and and think, okay, wow, okay, this this guy has it together. I want to do business with this guy. I want to send him a friend request and I want to send him a message. And then the second secret right here. Let me know if there's any questions so far, Daniel. I know I'm going yeah. through it super I, Actually, quickly. it's fantastic that you address that because I do have something that I want to add before we actually go to the next step, which is amazing. Facebook group wise, this I'm sure will will blow your mind about that. Uh, I think that you've mentioned a lot of uh, very important topics, and I think you've done it beautifully. I I can vouch for myself and and tell you guys that I've been using those techniques that he mentioned, and I've been seeing a lot of connections, uh, leads, sales, and, you know, customers only by implementing those tips that he just shared. But I also know that, uh, because I also provide consultation about that, that a lot of times, and I also see uh, Khalid uh, uh, wrote a question down there, but before I address that, I know that a lot of times people are uh, having difficulty uh, implementing the, the things that you just mentioned, because mm -hmm they still want to post all of those kind of things that would look uh, not professional. They still want to have this kind of place to uh, interact with their friends. So uh, this, uh, no matter how important this is and how effective it can be for them, they just say it as, as something that will be very hard to implement. So I, I want to address it. Uh, maybe you can give your thoughts about it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it would be amazing. I, I would love to. Let me actually jump on Facebook right now and show you a quick tip of exactly how you can do that. So if you want, for example, uh, you want your potential leads to see something, but you don't want your friend, uh, your family to see it, or or you want your family, yeah, you want your family to see something that your leads won't, then if you go here, actually, you click on the post. This is my latest post right here. Um, and you can choose who can see it. So if only friends or friends accept these friends. So if you want to make a business post, then maybe your friends accept your family 
will be able to see it. Um, and you can create specific lists as well to um, uh, in your settings to, to, for example, a family list. So if you want to make a post and it only be seen to your family and friends, then you can create a list um, and basically click in every friend and family you have uh, and only those people will be able to see those um, those posts. Okay, so that, that's amazing. So this really answer this question because guys, you, you can use it in two different scenarios. One for posts that you'd like to share only with your friends, and one for the more professional maybe kind of posts that you want to share with everyone except for those kind of friends. Because sometimes also people are you know, afraid to show all this business related activity with their friends because they think they, they would not be interested in that. They would, this will bore them. Uh, maybe sometimes they even are shy because they're just starting out. They, they don't want all their friends to be aware of their business activity. So guys, uh, having lists is, is an amazing thing that not a lot of people are actually aware of. And I'm glad that you were able to show it. And I just mm -hmm. also want to address one question before we go to the next part. And I, I'd love to give you my thoughts, and uh, maybe you can also share your opinion on it. I know that this question, uh, I'm glad that, uh, actually, I can see on uh, Facebook group. Uh, you cannot see it here, but it was uh, Khalid that asked that. So for wealth management company, what should I uh, be in the intro or in the bio? So I, I can uh, tell that, first of all, it, it's a great question because I'm sure that many people just wondered that. Yeah. So uh, even though I'm not, familiar with that niche very much i think and i think that you'll agree with me that the best thing uh everyone can do in this life that is participating is check what other people are doing i mean if you're into the wealth management check other profiles uh of uh you know people in that industry people in that niche what do they uh, uh do in their bios what kind of covers do they use and if they're not you know implementing what wilhelm just shared look for other people because this kind of strategy is something that becomes very popular and very known because it works it works extremely great so you can either research what others are already doing or again, just ask yourself while doing this research of who your client is, what do they want to see? Yeah. What kind of who can really, you know, lure them out? What kind of solutions do they need? What kind of uh, tags can you have on your banner that will attract the ideal client that you want to work with? So uh, this is my tip for that. I don't know, maybe you have something else to share. I'd love it if we can address this question before we, yep. you know, go to the next step. Absolutely. I, uh, I agree with you. Look at what other people are doing, model those people, and also what is it that your dream client wants. So uh, a great a great um, sentence to go after is, I help audience, so your dream customer, I help uh, wealth, wh whatever your, who your dream customer is, um, get results without big pain. So I help affiliate marketers, that's my dream customers, make $1,000 uh, online, uh, online that's the result they want um without paid ads that's the big pain mm -hmm. so that, that that's a great template because again guys you have to keep it short especially in the uh in the bio you have uh i i think it's uh 100 you said 110 something like that it's very very short so you must you know uh be very very specific at what it is that you do because also you know people's attention span is very low if you'll write sentences over sentences no one would care no one would interact with you you wouldn't close them down uh and i want you to treat your you know profile as a landing page again you, you need to optimize it for maximum conversions and the more text is not the better okay you need to make it simple you, you need to make it very visible uh, so people check you out as Wilhelm said they, they see the cover so the cover should state what it is that you do it should make it your profile relevant for them okay because if they see again a picture with your dog right like you mentioned instead of your profile in the cover it doesn't tell them anything so the time that you just spend uh, for that they spend watching your dogs they could have spent on understanding what it is that you do and maybe sending a connection and maybe asking you about your business so this is very important optimize it for conversions obviously there will be testing that you'll need to do so maybe you'll write a, a a bio that will not convert and after a week or two you'll decide to tweak it and then you'll see different results so it's just like a landing page which i assume a lot of people have some kind of an experience with 
So create it like that, and I think this will lead you to success afterwards, again, with enough implementation and testing. So thank you so much for addressing it, because I, I think it was a great question, guys. And, and thank you, Khalid, for bringing it up. Also see that he has another question, but I, I believe that you'll answer it in here. So yeah. I'll let you continue. Yeah, exactly. I was going to get to that. We got another question here from Emily. How did, how do you, how did you bring clients to your Facebook page? Let's let's jump into that. Let's actually show you how you can get traffic, how you don't create traffic, but it's already out there, how you use the traffic that's already there, and how you get them to your world, to your Facebook profile, and get them to enter your uh, your funnel, your what your website, and get them to buy your product or service. And we do that using Facebook groups. So find, first of all, the first question that you want to ask yourself is uh, who is your dream customer and where are they hanging out? So the most important question you can ask yourself right now at this moment is where is my dream customer hanging out? And the thing with Facebook is it is so amazing because it's already congregated. It's already uh, it's already put all of our dream customers together in different Facebook groups based on uh, based on beliefs, based on struggles, based on uh, values and the desires and what they want to do. So if you know what your desires, your dream customer has, what they're struggling with, then finding them online becomes really, really easy. And if you find a good lake to fish in, you have the right fishing rod and you have the correct hook, then you'll be the best fisherman this town has ever seen. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're finding good lake, that's the Facebook group. We're having the right fishing rod, that's your product or service, and you're using the correct hook. And I'm going to show you how you can do that uh, and become the best fisherman this town has ever seen. So first off, where is the fish? We have to find a good lake. So Facebook, it's important. You don't have to create the traffic. It's important you understand that. Facebook has already done the hard work. They've already created the, the, the traffic when they created a platform with a billion people in it. So... They've already congregated people based on their beliefs, values, desires, and struggles. So if you know that about your dream customer, which you really, really should, it's super important. If you understand that, then finding your dream customer online becomes really, really simple. So thousands of dream customers are already hanging out there and they need your help. They are in these groups. They're asking for help. They're creating posts. They're struggling with things. And that's why they join the groups, okay? And you are there to be their hero. It's your time to be the hero. And I'm gonna show you how you do that. So first off, you wanna find them. You wanna find the Facebook groups where they are hanging out and then you want to help them, okay? You want to be the hero. You want to serve them to 100%. You want to serve them upfront value. So, hey, good tip for me, for me is to take 15 minutes a day and just answer questions in, in those groups. So for me, I know my dream customer is hanging out in different groups related to click funnels um, and affiliate marketing groups. But so if you're in the real estate uh, niche, then maybe join, or if you're going after real estate agents, then join different real estate groups where they're hanging out. Or if you're targeting dentists, then, uh, then find groups where dentists are hanging out and this dentist owners, trust me, they're out there. There are groups for your dream customer. Uh, and once you find those groups, take 15 minutes a day and just answer questions. People are asking questions all the time. They are struggling. They want help. They want a hero to help them. And that's you, all right? And after that, after you've already... Uh, help them out. You've answered all of their questions. They're right now. They think you're freaking awesome. Okay. You want to create posts. You want to ignite that fire. You want to create posts that inspire people. That gets people curious and get people engaged. Where do you, what do you need help with right now? This is how I did this. Or how are you managing to do this? And crazy times of Corona, for example. So create posts that inspire people. Like get them curious and get them engaged. Because once they start seeing you everywhere. And they start seeing that, hey, this guy, Daniel, he's in this group all the time. He's answering every single question. He's helping people. And believe me, you don't need to be an expert. You're only one step ahead of someone else, okay? Uh, and that's the person that you're helping. 
So they're seeing Daniel. They're seeing him in this group all the time. He's answering all of the questions. They're going to wonder, who the heck is this guy? Why is he being so nice? And I definitely want to follow him. I want to be his friend because he seems to be a pretty cool dude. He helps me out all the time. I'm going to check out his profile. What's this guy up to, okay? They see his big cover photo. Oh, he's got a group. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's in my niche. It's, it's helping me. That's so cool. I definitely want to join his group. Boom. They're in your world. They're following you. They like you. They tr they know you. And soon enough, they trust you and they'll buy your products and services. So, yeah, once again, people will start seeing you everywhere. They'll see you pop up on their newsfeed, answering the, these questions, creating posts that inspire people, that can help them, uh, and that gets them curious and engaged to check out your profile picture uh, or your profile, fo uh, uh, profile, which is so important why we already set that up. You are the life of the party. You know, when you go to party and there's, there's, there's one dude, he's just dancing, he's talking to everybody, everybody loves him. That's you. That's you in this group, okay? That's you on Facebook right now. That's who you're going to become. You are the life of the party. You are the superstar, all right? It's your time to be the hero. So people will start to like you. They want to know you and find a way to trust you if you let them. If you let them enter your world, and your Facebook group or whatever the case is where you want to lead them, then they will eventually, they will start to trust you if they can resonate with you. Uh, yeah, they'll start checking you out. After they've seen you, they'll start checking you out and be like, hmm, okay, this cool, this guy, he's pretty cool. I'm going to check him out. What's he up to? Which is why it's super vital that you have your Facebook profile set up for success, which what I, which the steps I already taught you. And if you've got questions, if you've got, if you're wondering, okay, what should it look like? Um, model me, model Daniel, model other people who are already doing this and people are doing it in your niche. And if you need help with the design, just go to fiverr.com or freelancer.com. There's, there's great designers who can do it uh, for, for just tens of dollars. That's how I got my cover photo done, okay? And then the third step before we end this presentation is the monetization part. So getting them into your world. Once they've they see that you're engaging in all these groups. They see you all the time. You're the hero. You're the life of the party. All right. They will start to check you out. And it's important that you get them into your world. So they've most likely, likely already seen you around. Uh, so how do you get to know you? So how do they get to know you better? Your whole Facebook profile has to lead them somewhere. Okay. It's a one way road. Once again, when, when I show you guys mine, and if you go look at Daniel's, they are leading to our Facebook groups. It's a one-way road down the road of our Facebook road, uh, our Facebook group. That's where we want them, okay? So where do you want people? You would set up your funnel or your profile uh, and, and get the back end done so that so that so that you realize what's the first step. Okay, the first step is to join my 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 Facebook group and the end goal, the last step is for them to pay me by signing up to affiliate programs that I'm promoting and stuff. And that's that's my case. So whatever that's for you, you have to figure that out, set it up for, for success. So uh, are you leading people to your podcast, to your Facebook group, to your YouTube channel, ebook, to your website or your funnel, to book a call with you, to sign up for your free course, to sign up for a webinar you did or check out a training that you just created. Whatever the case is, what's the first step that you want people to go through once they see your Facebook profile and what's the one way road that you're leading them down? You want to lead with value and trust me, they follow you for life. Don't, don't try to sell people all the time. Don't go in the groups and, and, uh, and, and say, hey, I've got this awesome course. If you want to check it out, you just pay me nine, seven bucks or whatever. You know, you just want to leave it value because people are going to check you out automatically for free. You don't have to use paid ads. You don't have to tell them that you've got this course because they are going to see it on your profile photo and they've already, uh, or profile cover photo, and they already like you. They already trust you because you gave them so, so much value up front. You didn't care about selling them. You only cared about them. You gave them value. You helped them out. And they're going to buy from you because of that. Um, so leave it value and they will follow you for life. And that's really all I have, Daniel. That's it. That's uh, that's the presentation I had done. Man, it was awesome. I thank you. You've done very well by doing this presentation. It was beautifully explained. 
And uh, guys, before we go to Q&A, and let me just show the banner again, I want you to submit all your questions because we're going to address all of them in just a moment. But before we go to there, I, I want to recap everything that you just uh, mentioned because all of that was awesome, all of that I agree with. I just want to recap uh, for you guys. We are, well, when you're doing organic strategies, well, with the strategy that has been shared now, we are basically building on curiosity. We're well, actually uh, basing our strategy on people that have seen our value, have seen our posts, have seen our content, and they go into our profile. And if it's optimized accordingly, if uh, it clearly shows what we do and how it's relevant for them, it actually uh, you know, converts them to the next step. And if the word funnel, I don't know, maybe confuses you, so see it as some kind of a journey that you're actually making them go through. So for example, you entered, uh, I don't know, some kind of a group. So it can be Wilhelm's group uh, of affiliate marketing, okay? And Wilhelm just, well, actually it's a bad idea because this is your group, but let's say ClickFunnels group, for example, not your group, but Wilhelm came to this ClickFunnels group, okay? A community full of experts, digital marketers, uh, uh, and a lot of cool people. And he shared, uh, I don't know, a post about affiliate marketing. And there's a, this dude named, I don't know, Michael that saw his post and now he, he finds it extremely valuable. And he wants to check uh, Williams out, uh, Wilhelm's out. And he goes to his profile. And as you've seen, uh, Wilhelm's cover photo and everything is optimized for affiliate uh, and for the group, which is the next step in his journey, okay? Your next step in the journey can be something completely else, uh, completely different. So for example, on YouTube, uh, last night I watched uh, some uh, uh, expert talk about a woman that uh, made a yoga channel with over 4 million subscribers. They're extremely successful. Actually, I think this was in Sweden, uh, this uh, <laughs> speaker, and uh, they shared their strategy. So basically all the content that they provide, they produce 9% of the content for free. And they charge only for about 10% of the content that they actually produce, okay? So they give away so much for free and they give away high quality content on YouTube. And their YouTube channel grew to 4 million. And from their YouTube channel, the first step that they actually make people go through because YouTube is the source of their traffic. So the next step is actually their emailing list, okay? So uh, they call it the love letter, I think. So basically there's on every single video that they do, there is a link that leads them into their website, which has this love letter, which is the newsletter that they have. And in this newsletter, they also share stuff that they cannot go and do on YouTube because it messes the algorithm out. Basically, it's mostly very long videos that hold very small retention rate. And because of that, they don't want to upload it to YouTube. So basically, they share some additional content over there. And from there, they also, you know, lead them through the email marketing. On each email that they do, they also have a sale. They also have, you know, some kind of uh, way to make them progress or proceed to the next step, which is the membership already. So this is their journey. And Wilhelm's journey is completely different, okay? So it's from the groups to his profile, from his profile to his own group, from his group to his services, products, and offers, okay? And through this way, through this journey he builds, again, uh, they get to know him, they get to trust him. And in order for you to really establish trust, I want you to really shift your mindset from the old age, which uh, really a lot of people think uh, and thought, or maybe still thinking until now, that they cannot really share a lot of stuff for free because if they share it for free, no one will actually buy their uh, you know premium stuff. If you share everything for free, how will you make money? So it's actually very wrong because you actually providing value for free, showing them the potential, showing them uh, your knowledge, your expertise, showing them that uh, you're an expert and they should trust you is the leading factor here. This is the thing that will make them trust you and eventually also buy from you. And, and I see that happening all the time. People buy uh, from people that they trust, they know, they like, okay? Not, they don't have to be the, 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 the most brilliant guys and the most qualified experts, but again, these are guys that they trust and they know that working hard to serve their clients and they're honest and they're authentic and they don't lie about the results, that they're showing them everything. So, so yes, if you'll do that, uh, just like Wilhelm's just mentioned, uh, and also focus on long-term, because basically all those organic strategies are more long-term. 
So you wouldn't post something tomorrow in a group and get, I don't know, four clients out of that. Because mostly, again, it takes time for people to get to know you. As Wilhelm said, uh, they should see you frequently. Because when they see you one time, okay, so this guy had a nice post, maybe I'll friend him. But when they see Wilhelm keep posting on ClickFunnels group or in any other group that makes that to them eventually, when they see him constantly do awesome content, they get more and more and more curious. Sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. months, but eventually they decide, okay, that's it. I must go to the next level. I trust him completely. I, I mean, this guy is awesome. And he, the fact that he's also releasing content on a weekly or daily or, you know, frequently on a daily basis, the, he also shows that he's reliable and he's know what he's doing. And he's not the kind of guy that, I don't know, next month will do something completely different. I mean, he's mm -hmm. that, that niche. He's growing in there, okay? He's an expert in there. He's not just one lucky guy that has one, ha had one viral post. He, he's been doing that for a long time now. So this is it, and I see a bunch of comments. So before we address them, okay. I want to ask you whether you have anything about what I said or maybe something to add, because next step, again, we're going to show all of your questions because I see a lot of them, guys, and uh, we're going to answer them. Absolutely, let's do it. That was a great answer. I. I think you broke down really, really well there, uh, and really it's the customer journey that you that you talk about. You know, seeing okay, they see me in one time in the post, they might friend me, or they see me two times, they're more intrigued. Okay, why do I keep seeing this guy? Oh, they see me three or four times, and people are thanking me. That was an awesome post, and like, okay, so people like him. I should be liking him too. You know, okay, who is this dude? I'll check him out. Okay, he's got a Facebook group. I'll join. You know, and then they join my group, and they keep seeing me all the time. Once more, once more, once more, and they're like, okay. I need to see what this guy's all about. What's he got to offer me? You know, okay. And now I'm all hooked. So yeah, it's, just, it's keep, uh, exactly, it's, exactly. And I think it was I saw. I didn't think to add it, but I added it real quick. Uh, I saw a, a conversation. Uh, well, uh, an expert talk by Frank Penn. I don't know if you know him. He yeah. did a seminar. Yeah, uh, pretty famous guys. Guys, uh, check him out. He's uh, incredible. And he did a, an expert talk on uh, Traffic and Conversion Summit 2019. And he talked about, well, there is a famous statistic that says that people need to see our stuff like seven times before they, you know, proceed to the next step. But it, it was yeah. funny. Uh, he always makes jokes. He, he talked on this interview about how he thinks this is like, uh, sorry for saying this, but, but bullshit. I, I mean, he says that people need to see our stuff way more than seven times before they trust you, okay? Because again, yeah. things changing, we, we must adapt. People sell like crazy. There's a lot of people that do these kind of posts and trying these kind of methods. Uh, but what is missing as pe are people who do it constantly, who are doing it, you know, on the long term, who are doing it and not, you know, get sick of it after two weeks, who constantly provide value. And I can vouch for myself and tell that I've been doing that. I mean, I have uh, at least one value post a day that I share on my personal profile and in groups. And people come out to me, uh, PMing me, DMing me on Facebook and always praising this kind of value that I'm providing. So I know it works. And people, you know, note that and they appreciate that. And I'm building trust with them. So these strategies work very effectively, but it can take time because yes, a lot of people see my stuff, but they didn't see it maybe enough time. So it also leads me to say that if you made an offer, if you made a sale, if you discussed your, I don't know, offer or product or service with someone and you declined, no big deal. You just need to, you know, keep on posting, keep on yeah. providing value. The fact that he was interested in what you have to sell says that you're doing a right thing, that you're doing a good job, but maybe it wasn't right for him at the moment. But if you will still see you posting, you know, you doing it, you're not taking too much, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, how will I say that? You're not making a big deal out of that and you just keep on posting and cre creating value. He might just come up to you a week later, two weeks later, I don't know, a few months later and you'll just add another customer, okay? So if he declines, nothing happens. It happens all the time, and he might change his mind in two weeks. But just keep on doing what you do, okay? So really, man, it was an awesome presentation. And I <laughs> else about having those questions appear. So let, let's see. Yeah, uh, let's get to them. Yeah, so uh, by, by the way, guys, if you don't enter the link in the comments, I mean, I, I can share your questions, but I cannot see who wrote it. 
So it will be the, the like, it, it says Facebook user. So let's see what was the last one that we answered. It was, I think about the, okay. So let, let me just read it again, because it's a long one and I want to make sure that we addressed it. It mm -hmm. was the questions that appear before the Facebook groups uh, section. How did you bring the clients to your Facebook page? Uh, did they find themselves? Did you talk to every potential client in order that they come to your Facebook account and click the link? So basically, I think we mentioned that, but to get a, a quick recap, one strategy that you can use is again, Facebook groups, sharing value, and then you don't need to manually message everyone. Actually, this is called spamming. So if you like have a post with a lot of value and then people will comment and you'll go to each one of them and immediately try to sell, this wouldn't be something that I would recommend. This is called spamming. So uh, you can they can also report you and having uh, you removed from the group. So again, focus on the long term, seek real connections. Uh, I mean, you can write them, you can friend request them and tell them how awesome it is that uh, they, I don't know, commented and always make sure to engage back. I mean, if they commented, if they took from their time to write on your post, you always may want to make sure that you engage with them back both because I think it's like appreciate them because if you appreciate them, they'll continue to engage with you. And second, uh, secondly, it will boost the post up in the group, especially if you're targeting like ClickFunnels group that I know this guy has been crushing in. Uh, ClickFunnels group, if you like, I don't know, if you don't engage in like two minutes, you're way below. I mean, the amount of posts that uh, they're uh, upload every single day is just amazing. It's a, a yeah. like 200 thousand uh, people group so this is about that uh do you think there's something more to add about this question i think we mentioned uh, i think we're good to go to the next one i think you gave a good answer there okay uh, by the way if we answer some kind of questions and you you feel like we did not address it accordingly maybe uh rephrase it ask it again and we'll get back to it later Absolutely. so next question oh by the way let me switch it to a bigger screen so um so there is a guy thanking us. Uh, okay, there is something about, I'm in the deck still business. So my target should be basically everyone. Well, when when you basically target everyone, you, you're not really getting through no one. You, you should do your research yeah. and help someone. Do you think you have a, a quick tip for this guy? Um, yeah, uh, like you said, if you're targeting everyone, you're targeting no one, you know, um, there's a, there's a famous story about someone trying to sell water and he's like, okay, so I'm selling water. So everybody's my dream customer. Everybody's buying water. No, because if you, if you, if you, if you, if you target everyone, then you're basically like, why should I care? It's just water. Right. But if you're targeting water for entrepreneurs, I'm like, oh, cool. This is water for entrepreneurs. It's going to be, give me entrepreneur superpowers. You know, you have to make it exciting and, and target it for your dream customer. So if you're selling clothes, which I believe he was, then who are you selling clothes to? Is it sports clothes? Is it, is it clothes for climbers? Is it clothes for uh, for real estate people? I don't know. Like, who are you targeting with your clothes? Make it specific. I think it's a perfect answer. Guys, again, if you're trying, and I know it's like a comfort zone that a lot of people try to stick to, uh, targeting like everyone because they, they are afraid of missing someone out. I yeah. mean, if people go to, I don't know, fashion for women, uh, I might we miss a lot of dudes out. But actually, that's wrong, especially, uh, I mean, in today's world when everything is so competitive, unless you unique yourself from others, you wouldn't really effectively get across no one, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't really talk to anyone. And this also leads me to just mention that the, the, the most viral posts and content and the, the, the content that I do that gets me the most, you know, kind of engagement and, and, and clients and, and leads are usually the ones that, you know, talk to about a very specific audience and sometimes even, you know, talk about controversial topics. So again, if you're trying to make everyone happy, okay, you're good. Some people might appreciate that, but if you can, you know, really be specific and maybe even may be okay with making some not really okay then you get a discussion then you get so yeah. like one post that i had is do you think a college degree is a good idea do you think it's worth it so it was a controversial topic not to say that this got me clients but to, to understand the idea behind it uh it, it was a controversial topic and got a lot of likes and i wasn't neutral about it okay and i was okay with making some people angry so i, I had another post today saying that uh why college degrees suck 
I, yeah, I used that word uh, and it was a controversial topic. And then I explained it and I said, uh, before I get too wild up, uh, let, let me explain. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, but basically, if, if we're going for a practical tips for you, let me just show you your question again. Uh, as uh, Wilhelm just mentioned, textile is a huge industry, okay? So basically you have, first of all, you have the sex. It's women, it's men, who, who are the clothes for? Then you have age groups. I mean, is it like fashion for young? Is it uh, uh, young people, adults, uh, I don't know, middle age? Uh, is it for infants? It can be for different age groups. Then you also have um, maybe, well, I don't know if you're targeting locally or worldwide, but basically you, you also need to do the research and see what, what kind of places, what kind of countries, what, what kind of people are really interested in that. I mean, I, I can vouch for Israel and say that there, well, there are some groups that wear different kind of clothing, okay? Uh, sometimes it's ethnic groups, sometimes it's age groups, sometimes it, it, it's uh, people from different countries. So there should be a lot of research on it. So you can start with, again, understanding what it is you sell and who is the best customer. Who, who are the best customers that you usually get? Uh, and try to come up with similarities between them. It's a hard one. Yes, there's uh, some industries that will be harder than uh, others. But again, it also means that there's a lot of potential because most people miss that phase because it's hard. So this is for that. Um, Let's see other questions. Well, there's a lot of guys that actually help, uh, and I appreciate it. So they were coming up with idea, depending on what clothes, target by age. This is exactly what we said, so thank you. Um, T-shirts for all, yes. Okay, what about that? Can I target specific uh, prospects through organic parsing? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So that's where the groups come in, right? So uh, if you were just using your, <laughs> this is the thing here as well. If you're using your Facebook profile and you're making posts just as you, as, as Bilan Vidanal, you know, if you're making posts on your profile, then, uh, and you want to be targeting specific people, your specific green customer, obviously, then that's when it's so important that you've added 5,000 friends, which is a lot, but there's tools to help, there's tools to help you with it. And uh, it's just, it's it's a long journey. It's not going to take, you're not going to make 5,000 friends in a month, okay? It's going to take some time. But the more friends you add in your dream customer, uh, as your dream customer, then once you make posts on your perf on your profile, then you can really target them. And you know that, okay, the people who will see this, they are my dream customer. They're, they're my dream client. And, um, and really, uh, targeting people specifically, that's where the groups come in. So if you're targeting affiliate marketers like me, Join affiliate marketing groups. If you're targeting dentists, join dentist groups. They're all they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that 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 was a great question. I think you you mentioned a lot of great tips for that. And guys, I also want to mention two things. First of all, as for group research, basically you cannot post on all groups on Facebook because again, uh, Facebook doesn't like when you take one post and just duplicate it to 30 yeah. different places. So you need to also do your research to find out the best groups because yes, there's groups that contain your audience, but maybe there are more groups that are more specific to your audience. So for example, Wilhelm uh, has the perfect example. He's into affiliate marketing, okay? Uh, so we post on ClickFunnels group and ClickFunnels group, if you don't know, doesn't just involve uh, 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 affiliate marketing it, it involves so much so many other topics so for example click group might be good but maybe if Wilhelm will go to something that will be primarily or very focused on affiliate marketing he have more success so what I invite you to do is actually do like an excel sheet of my different groups names and start posting there and see the results yeah you you cannot really determine by one post but after testing it for like a month, two weeks, something like that, you'll be able to see on average how much engagement it gets because sometimes you will completely miss on incredible groups because you, I don't know, chose a very broad one and you don't get much success again because for 80% of the people inside that group, it's irrelevant content because they are into website design and you're talking about affiliate. They're about, I don't know, relationship consulting and you're uh, preaching them about, I don't know, uh, uh, a mindset for athletes. I don't know. So you need to be very accurate about your research. Again, groups are free. You can just join different groups, see the results, 
and test. And I would uh, recommend not posting in too many. It's not about the numbers. It's about the quality of the group. So if you make a post that is relevant for several groups, you can basically, yeah, you can post it in like two or three pro, uh, groups. This is what I usually do, two or three groups. Uh, that's considered okay. Sometimes you can do more. I like to stick to this uh, kind of number. Uh, just don't do like 10, 20, because Facebook yeah. can ban you. Uh, and one more tip, guys, uh, that I wanted to add was for the 5,000 friends limit, okay? I don't want you to just add every single person from those groups because it will increase your reach and increase your uh, opportunity because if you have more than more friends, you, you can approach more people. That's not really true. You want to, again, well, 5,000 friends are a lot of friends. It takes a lot of time to build this kind of following. And you also want to make sure that the guys who follow you appreciate the content that you're doing and are also likely to engage and maybe even buy from you. I mean, I, I see so many people who just blindly add so many people just to get to this 5K and then they post something and they get two likes. Yeah. And, uh, that's bad because Facebook really sees how much engagement you get. And by that, they decide how much reach to provide it. Uh, and if you have five or let's say 4,000 friends that are this content is completely irrelevant for and only 1,000 that it's relevant for. And I don't know, Facebook chose some of those irrelevant groups and they saw the content and they did not like it. They ignored it. Facebook sees that it's not a really good post, okay? Because they, they cannot really define who is who is it for. They can define who is in your friend list and who is engaged in the past. But if for some scenario, they showed it to people who are not interested to like a group of 50 and no one interrupted, then they decide and they like, you know, lower the reach for your post and you cannot really get to the 1000 that are really relevant or uh, uh, be interested in that post. And this is a, like a bad thing. So just... There's also a lot of, well, we'll not get into that, but there's also the importance of removing friends that are inactive, that don't engage, and you can research on that, basically. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. right. You don't want to be adding random people and, and just spamming out, because if, if you create a post and, you, like you say, you get two likes, then Facebook is going to realize, oh, okay, this guy is not providing a lot of value. He's not really getting engagement. So we're not going to show his posts more, okay? So make sure that it's people that are relevant to your posts and what you've got to offer them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Th that's amazing. So uh, it was important to address. Let's go to the other questions. Let let's read it. Uh, can a company page be added in a group? My prospects would be investors. And which groups will be ideal? Mm -hmm. What do you so yeah, the pages can use groups uh, or can join groups, but I would not recommend it. Okay, like I said, like there's nothing as genuine as your as your profile uh, as your actual profile. So if people see you, uh, they're gonna be way more likely to know you, right, and trust you and like you. Because if they see just a page, if they see Khalid's investing company, they're gonna think, oh, okay, so this page is here to close people, here's here to sell something. So it's not gonna be as genuine, okay? So I would definitely not, once again, if you wanna get good reach with your Facebook page, um, it's pay to play anyway. So I would utilize your Facebook profile, first of all. Mm -hmm. I think that people immediately turn off by seeing a business page approaching yeah. them. They, they don't want to be sold. They don't want to be, you know, offered now uh, uh, kind of services and stuff. And, and when they see like, I don't know, some company or some consultant that obviously interacts for, from his business page approaching me, I mean, they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't take it as a, 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 like a, a common guy or a normal guy with his personal profile uh, that is doing that. It's less effective. And basically, again, uh, just to mention, again, if you're posting the same kind of post from your business page and from your personal pro profile, it will get an entirely different engagement. I mean, the reach yeah. on, uh, on personal profiles is way, way higher, okay? So business pages can be great to like, I don't know, uh, tell people what you're about and have links and call to actions. But most business will be from your personal profile, people seeing your stuff uh, and checking you out. And maybe from there, if you'd like, they can also, uh, the next step, I mean, can be the, the business page, which has a very strong call to action, like message me, pick an appointment, check my website and, and, and stuff. 
and mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so we were so I'm very glad that we were able to see this question too. So Absolutely. so yeah, I think I think we're done. So before we All go, right. I'd love it if you can uh, quickly mention how can people find you. I mean, you just provided awesome uh, <laughs> value, and people are curious. You, you've done your organic strategy with us, and now people want to check you out. So where can they find you? Yeah, I think I think I I think I made the case clear with my presentation, right? Just check out my profile and you know what exactly. to do. So yeah, I've got a group called CF Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, where I help uh, affiliate marketers get started without paid ads. Um, and the thing I'm I'm teaching a lot of affiliate marketing there, but I know that there's not a lot of uh, like people are broad in this group. So if you if you want more help with organic reach like this, that's really what I focus on, really organic reach. So if you need help with that, if you want to join then you're more welcome to. If it's not a good fit for you, then stay in this group and keep getting awesome, awesome uh, help from Daniel. Either way, 